and welcome to FPS tutorial of aliens in town. There they are. Yeah, he's down. Check out this other one. Let's go towards him. Take him down. So now we just go around, check out the neighborhood, and make sure he's safe. So let's see this one there. well and uh, so what I am going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into unity development environment where we will download this particular asset that I use and we also make our way straight to Mizumo and grab hold of some character that we can use within this uh, first person shooter tutorial so let's do that now guys so i'm going to start a new project entirely let's click on new there we go start a new one let's give that a name i'm just going to call it fps3 and let's click on create okay guys the unity editing environment is ready so i'm going to first of all Come right here to Windows, click on Windows, and let's grab hold of Package Manager. In there, we need City Package, and that is it right there. It's about 26.86 megabytes. Click on Import, and you click on Import again. There we go. Okay, so the Polygon City Park is ready, so I'm also going to download the particle effect 48 particle effect so i'm just going to click on download as well or import actually let's see it's coming up now and click on import again there we go okay that is ready as well but we do have an error right there telling us that uh, the CS show all effect is no longer usable. I think it's obsolete according to the instruction here. So I'm going to exit out and let's go into the, the 48 particle effect pack. We need the script. That's the script right there. Double click on that. And that is the C sharp language that is obsolete according to this error here so i'm going to just right click and delete that and there it's going up okay the del is deleted the obsolete package or obsolete script and as you can see the error is gone good now the next thing we want to do is i need some more objects in here i need the sound and I'm also going to need a gun. So let's grab a hold of this folder, the gun folder. You guys can get your gun anywhere you want. You can get it in the, the asset store or if you have a gun already in your package manager, you can go ahead and do that. Now that all of that is in place, let's come right here. You see the polygon city pack, double click on that. And you then double click on the scene that is the scene right there double click on the scene in there you now want to double click on the demo itself double click on this demo there we go that's it coming up and you can demo double click on let me look for any of the building I'll just double click on that so that we can be positioned right inside the environment there we go look at that check that out guys you see that that's beautiful it's a very beautiful asset I want to give credit to whoever developed this there. that is fine but the problem is if we run this package itself because there's no camera in there there's, it's going to give us an error message saying there's no camera on board so let me run you should see the error message now so, then we take it from there. It's coming up. There we go. Look at that. No camera rendering. 
so let's stop that and come back to our scene so to take care of that go straight to your hierarchy here and let's select camera click on that you have a camera there if you like you can change the name to main camera the choice is yours there you now have a main camera in there why I'm still in the camera why the inspector is still on the camera I'm gonna come right down here you see where we have add component I'm going to add character controller to the camera there we go so if we run the program now we should be able to see the whole environment provided we are in the right location but let's see how that is then we take it from there if we have to reposition the camera that is it okay so we need to be able to move around let's stop this from running and I'm going to go to you see where we the top game and where we have play focus I'm going to change that to maximize and let's run it and you see how the whole environment look like and one other thing that you guys can do is if you want to change the skybox why not you can change it the choice is yours because it looks like a beautiful day right that's how that's looking now but we cannot do anything we cannot move around or do any other thing and that's where the coding comes in so back in here okay so before we go any further you see the camera I'm now going to grab hold of the gun let's make sure I double click on the camera I want to know where the camera is situated that's it right there I'm going to grab hold of the gun and position the gun right inside the camera that's my gun there and this is the gun that I want to use I'm going to position it right inside the camera here there as a child of the camera okay the gun will be there somewhere so we need to do that's a gun right there it's a little bit too big but we can always adjust that okay before I do any other thing let me run it and we see you guys will see where the camera the gun is actually so let's click on run when that's the barrel of the gun so we need to reduce the size of this gun it's a little bit too big so make sure the gun is selected and come right here change the size to 0.4 by 0 0.4 and that's the scale actually 0 0.4 there we go so it's kind of like right here okay that's it right there and that's the camera so let's run it and see how that's going to look like so I cannot see the gun properly anymore so I'll find a way to get that in position I am going to drag this game tab just peg it right here so that I can see what I'm up to and that is the gun there and the camera itself so I'm going to move the gun and the camera you can see the whole thing is happening okay I don't know if you guys can see the the barrel of the gun I think it's here somewhere so I'm going to select the gun again and just move it no I should move it that way yeah there we go that's it bring it back back a little bit there we go I think that is a bit fine there we go that's the gun right there so I'm going to run it let's see how that's going to look like then we take it from there and I will also add the ray curves to the gun so let's see there we go that's it right there okay now let's click on the gun that's the gun there right click on it and select UI then select image and that is the image look at how huge that is let's change the width to 20 by and the height to 20 as well that is it right there so I'm going to change come in here you see where we have source image click on that let's look for something round okay I'm going to select that there that is it right here okay so if we run it now that will be aimed towards our enemy or whatever you want to aim it towards 
that is it right there and that is that done now let's do one thing we need to put together some lines of clothes okay guys let's go to the project here and in here I'm going to select the asset I will then right click on the project area let's create a folder and that folder I'll just call that script there and let's double click on that script and now right click inside the script create select create and select C sharp script and I'll give that a name I'll call it mouse look now select your script and click on open okay it's coming up now right now the mouse look scripting area is ready first of all I'm going to declare a serialized field so I'm going to start by entering serialize and just enter square bracket in there and type serialize field field is case sensitive so you must enter your serialize exactly the way I've just entered mine so the serialize field is going to be a float then the variable that I'm going to use for that will call it ton speed and ton speed let's make the value about 90 F the F stands for float there okay next I'm going to declare another serialized field that we actually measure how far up the head can tilt so I'm going to change this to let's go for head upper angle limit and that is going to be let's change this to 85 there we go and head lower angle limit that's how far the head can tilt at a lower angle so that's how far down the head can tilt as well measured in angle so we will go for let's change this to lower and we can just make that about minus 75 so that is taken care of now the next thing is let's create two more variable one will be for your and the other one the value will be 0 F and the other one will be pitch so let's say float and that's pitch and that's equals 0 as well now let's draw enter another variable that will store the orientation of the head and the body so I'm going to call let's say quotidian and we'll say body start orientation okay that's for the body then I'm going to copy that and this one will be for head start orientation change this to head now we create another object that will be transform and I'm going to call that head so that would be reference to the head object that is the object to rotate up and down now when the program starts we want you to find the head so I'm going to say head that would be equals get components get components in child okay in child camera dot transform and right inside the start function we want to get the body orientation and the head orientation so I'm gonna grab all of these so I said body paste that in here body that would be body start orientation that would be let's say equals 
transform dot let it locate no local local orientation local rotation there and I'm going to also get the head orientation grab all of that paste that in there and just copy all of this and that will become dot head dot transform dot local rotation and we then want the cursor to lock and hide the cursor so let's come in here there okay so that is taken care of now right in here we want the fix update to keep pace with the physical simulated object so in here i'm going to change that to fixed update there we then want it to read the current orientation movement and the horizontal movement and the vertical movement there we go once that is done we assign your that would be plus equals paste that there and grab this as well that would be for the page plus equals vertical there we go next we want to be able to climb the pitch so that we can look up and down so in that case we're going to say pitch equals mass dot uh, dot clamp pitch head lower angle and head upper angle so that is done for the pitch and finally we just need to create variable that will take care of the rotation of the body the head and transform their local rotation that is it done for the fixed updates so have a good look at the lines of codes get rid of that okay we're going to try out these lines of codes now so I will now save it click on save minimize that straight to our unity editor that is the lines of codes now you see these lines of code I'm going to select the camera scroll right down here and then attach that very lines of code to the camera there we go if you guys can still remember the character controller that was added that's we're going to use that for the movement now that we've added that to that I'm gonna click on run we should be able to pan around both left and right so let's give that a try and see how that's gonna work you see that guys we are now able to move around but we cannot go forward we need to put together some lines of code to do that for us so far it's looking very very good right so i'm going to call it the end of the first part of this tutorial and i'll see you guys shortly